Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader, reading books for you. Today, I will be reading Anchin, The Story of a Butterfly, Chapter 7, by Serena Nell. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Chapter 7 The bell rang to announce recess. Kids got up and pushed through the door to get to the playground first. Anchin, as was her habit, waited for the rush to pass before she got up, the ever-present lunchbox with nibbles in hand. As she got out of her chair, someone almost knocked her over, spilling her strawberries all across the floor. Anchin looked up to see who the culprit was and found herself looking into the biggest black eyes she had ever seen. Brad, the new dragonfly boy, carried his haircut stylishly short. She slowly took in the blue jacket he was wearing, the black jeans. As her world started turning, she mastered a smile. I am so sorry. I thought everyone was out already, she proclaimed shyly. No, no, it is my fault. I did not look where I was going. Anjan looked at the strawberries scattered across the floor. Wait, let me help you with that, Brad offered. No, no, it's fine. I do not want to keep you, Anjan said, making a desperate attempt to break away from the hypnotizing gaze. She bent forward to start picking up the strawberries and bumped her head against Brad. They both looked up in surprise and started laughing. Cautious not to cause another accident, they picked up all the strawberries on the floor. Once done, Brad looked at the strawberries and took one. May I? He asked as he looked at Anchin with his big black eyes. It took Anchin a while to respond as her mind was racing as fast as her heart. Mind if I have this one? Brad asked again. Sure, but... Anchin cut her sentence short and bit down on her lip. But what? Brad broke the uncomfortable silence that was about to follow. A teasing smile was playing on the corner of his mouth. It is just, she said, her voice barely audible. I did not know that you eat strawberries. You look like a meat-only kind of guy. Laughter filled the empty classroom. Actually, he said, the laughter still in his voice. I am a vegetarian. Not only is it much healthier, but also tastier. Anchin held the strawberries out to Brad, who took one. He took a bite in what looked to Anchin like slow motion. Anchin wills herself back to reality. I have to go, Anchin said, suddenly hurried. Thank you for helping me, she said, and started to head out of the class. Pleasure. It was nice to chat with you, Brad said. Surprised, Anjan froze. She turned around slowly and looked at Brad. You mean that? She wanted to know, sounding uncertain. I do, he said, and shot her a killer smile. Anjan felt her heart speed up. She wondered if he could hear just how loud her heart was beating. Anjan smiled and walked off to enjoy recess. As she was about to exit the door, Brad spoke again. I never got your name, he said and looked at her. His big black eyes were unreadable. Anjan, she said, with difficulty, she mustered a smile. I am Brad, he introduced himself. 
I am Mew. Agent smiled and nodded. I know, she said, and headed for the door once again when he spoke. Mind if I join you for recess? Brad asked as he too headed towards the door. Bewildered, Anjan looked around to convince herself that he is talking to her. Me? You want to join me? She asked, her heart bouncing around wildly in her chest. She took a deep breath to calm herself as she watched Brad wait in anticipation. She nodded, and together they walked out. The door to the playground. All eyes fell on them as they walked across the playground to the mushrooms on the right. They were talking and laughing nonstop as they discovered that they had quite a lot in common. Samantha, the well-dressed dragonfly, went quiet as she followed Brad and Anchin with her eyes. A sinister smile crossed her face before she turned her attention back to the two dragonfly girls accompanying her. Stay tuned for chapter eight. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I've included links where you may find and purchase this book.